It's the eighth time Midian Valley Christian have faced off this year, but this one is for it all. Valley is on the board first in this Division I championship game. Jeff Hurd knocks in Trevor Haskins, 1-0 Valley. In the bottom of the inning, Haskins comes up with a phenomenal catch to keep the Monarchs off the board in the first. And in the top of the third, Hurd reaches base in his fifth consecutive at bat. Jacob Hudson trots into third and would later score on a wild pitch, 2-0 Warriors. In the bottom of the inning, Jaron Advincula shows bunt and it's a base knock for the midi shortstop. Two batters later, they're loaded for Dominic Giuffre. Dom hits a fly ball to right. Deep enough to score Marcus de Guzman. Monarchs score once more on a wild pitch to tie it up at two. That leaves two in scoring position for the Monarchs, but Hudson gets the punch out and a pop out to end the threat. And VC tacks on more in the fifth when Easton Kreschel takes this ball for a ride. A two-run shot. Easton homers in his third straight playoff game. Talk about clutch. Griffin Allen makes the score 5-2 as the GCU bound first baseman doubles into the gap scoring Michael Castaneda. Runner on third for Valley in the sixth and there's a wild pitch. Jacob Schleselman scores on a close play at the plate and that run was huge because after Advincula singles through the right side in the sixth to score Harry Rodhouse, it's 6-3. Then in the seventh, Halbach doubles down the left field line to put Zach York at third and a bases loaded walk makes the score 6-4. Next batter is Day Guzman. Marcus comes up clutch with a base hit to left scoring. Halbach 6-5 Valley. Bases loaded down to the final out. Alec Ballardis strikes out the batter and Valley Christian celebrates its fourth straight section title. Midian Valley split the season series, but the Warriors come up with the victory on the final game of the year and you know what that means. The D1 Champions, the Valley Christian Warriors! First off, first up, we are talking to Easton Kreschel. Easton, congratulations. You came up, hit a bomb in a big spot. Talk me through that at bat and what that meant. You know, I started with, I was over in the on-deck circle and Coach Mike Miko came up to me and was like, what are you looking for? And I just went fastball and I'm going to hit it up the middle. And then I've been trying to do that all playoffs and that's what happened. Yes, it worked out. <laughs> And Jacob, okay, you had fantastic games in the semis and finals, and you ended up being our winning pitcher. Talk about on the mound, what it was like facing these mini monarchs and what your game plan was. You know, we faced them so many times this year, so obviously they're used to our stuff, so I just had to come out there and give it everything I had. I had to drain the tank. This was it. This is the last game. Why not win it? Thank you. All right, last but not least, this is Jeff Hurd. Jeff, again, fantastic, fantastic semi and final game. I'm pretty sure I was counting your hit streak going into this game. What, after 15 months of not playing, what does this win mean to this team? Oh, it means everything. You know, we've been out here, we've been working, everybody's been working since quarantine all the way up for this one moment. So we're just happy we got out here. Thank God that we came out with the dub today. Yes, yes you did. All right. These are the Warriors. Guys, take us out. Yeah.